which of these moments isn't powered by an information system? Your commute swipe, that new playlist, or the checkout scanner? Trick question. Everyone runs on one. In the next few minutes, you'll learn what an information system is, its five core components, and how they work together every time you shop, study, or stream. From sunrise to bedtime, systems capture, move, and transform data so smoothly we barely notice. Let's pull back the curtain. Formally, an information system combines people, technology, and processes to accomplish a goal. That goal could be anything from placing an online order to tracking medical records. In schools, it's how student information, such as grades and attendance, is managed. In airports, it's how luggage moves from check-in to your final destination. You see, information systems are everywhere. And the more complex the need, the more coordinated the system has to be. Most scholars break that idea into five building blocks. Hardware you can touch, software you run, data you store, procedures you follow, and people who keep it all humming. We've shown how everyday moments run on information systems and met the five parts. Hardware, software, data, procedures, and people. Ready to lock it in? Tap the link for study guides and flashcards on this topic so you can keep learning without missing a beat. Now, let's see those five parts in formation and how they rely on each other as one system. These five parts don't work in isolation. Think of them like a team. Hardware is the body. Software is the brain. Data is the memory. Procedures are the habits and people are the decision makers. If one breaks down or doesn't play well with the others, the system fails or delivers bad information. Everyone affected by a system, users, customers, IT teams, even regulators is called a stakeholder. Their needs shape every design choice. Picture buying sneakers online. Your click triggers software on a web server, hardware in a warehouse, data in an inventory database, and procedures that tell a robot which box to grab, all orchestrated by people who built and monitor the workflow. Designing a good information system means asking, what do users need? What could go wrong? How do we protect the data? That's why cybersecurity, user interface design, and even legal compliance are part of building effective systems. It's not just about speed, it's about trust accuracy, and usability. The better the design, the better the decisions people can make. To recap, an information system pairs people, tech, and processes. It rests on five key components, and its success hinges on the needs of every stakeholder. Ready to quiz yourself with the content covered in this video? Check out the link in the description where you'll find Quizlet content made just for you.